positive meniscus this is the thing that one okay now This is mu here here. It's a converging lens only. The converging lens only. So now now if a ray of light is incident, focal length will be a Okay, now the radius of this will be, let it be R1 equal to R, R2, let this be equal to 2R. <coughs> Direction of incident ray, this is positive. So applying the lens maker formula, 1 by F is equal to mu2 by mu1 minus 1, 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Mu2 is mu 1 plus r plus 2r. So solving this, we'll get 2r by mu minus 1. I got positive r, so therefore it's a converging lens. Positive meniscus, positive meniscus it is called as I think I'll, I'll try to adjust here only. Positive negative meniscus. I think we can save place. Ah, what do you mean by negative meniscus? Next it will be. negative meniscus the next few things like uh, if suppose say it is like this sir there, there's some small information which will help you a lot what about the position of the object it means like position of the image now here is what image is formed. So this is 2R, this is R. No? If, if it is the the same same lens, now other surface faces the incident tree. Where the position of image will be same. Position of image will not change. These are very small things, but for students, these are very, very important. The focal length will be same. Means whether the, which surface first, <coughs> it will strike the, the incident ray on which surface first it strikes, will that determine focal length? The answer is no. Hope, hope, are you able to understand? I'm trying to give some information here. In the first diagram, the incident ray will strike the surface whose radii, radius of curvature is R. Next, here the same lens. Now, the if the incident ray strikes from left, or, or I'm showing it here now, this will be 2R. So, what about the position of focal length? Will be same. So, on which surface the incident ray first strikes, okay, that will not determine the focal length. Of course, here the image will be on right side, here it will be uh, like a if the ray comes from this side, if the incident ray first strikes 2R like this, the image will be formed here. 
So therefore, I'm just taking a diagram like this. Let me change the, let, let me rotate this lens. Now the surface of radius of curvature to our face the incident ray. So where is the position of image will be same, focal length will not, will not change. This is very important. Huh? Negative meniscus. Negative meniscus means this should be flat. First, we go one, two. Okay, so some, some rough diagram may not be perfect. The radius of curvature of this is 2R. This is R. the incident the ray will pass strike the then after refraction will diverge from a point this will be the focal length okay now you will see this again the same formula mu 1 this will be plus 2 r plus r minus 2 r by mu minus 1 this is diverging lens negative meniscus <laughs> Okay, these are the uh, six types of uh, general, the different types of lens is what, if the radii need not be 2 or right? it can be 2 or 3 or anything. Huh? Please do understand, I just took some values here, but it can be what happen, any, any values, the radii. Okay, next if the 